Just a pre-warning, this is going to be kind of a longer video. I'm just trying to condense everything so fast, but still give you enough information to be useful. So, yeah. Um, I think the first thing that I'll start with is communication because that's the first thing every relationship starts with, okay? If you cannot communicate well with someone, then your relationship is never going anywhere past a computer screen. I'm sorry. Um, so if you want to make the first move and kind of initiate contact, start with social network. Um, try and become their Facebook friend or follow them on Instagram or maybe even become Snap Buddies. I know Snapchat is a big thing now. But uh, you need to initiate contact. Girls are always looking for guys that are confident and who will initiate the first move. So just because she hasn't added you as a friend on Facebook yet does not mean that she doesn't want to be your friend. She probably just is waiting to see if you're going to initiate that contact first. Um, don't do it the first day you meet. If you meet somebody and then you're like, let me just add you on Facebook right now. That's creepy. But give it three or four days and then be then add them and see see where it goes from there. And then again with that, don't message them the first day that you become friends. Wait three or four days. Otherwise you just seem desperate. If you're looking to get in a relationship like that, then you're gonna get out of one like that, I promise. So yeah, and girls can initiate contact first. If it's not important to you that he makes the first move or you're not waiting for that, don't be afraid to at him on Facebook. Don't be afraid to text him first. Don't be afraid to ask him to prom because that's the great thing about 2016 as we are all equals. Everybody's equal and you have just as much right to do anything as anybody else. At the same time, going back to tradition and the way tradition says, women generally want the man to make the first move and to show some initiative. I think it's like an instinct thing. We wanna see you take charge and be the one to say, hey, I wanna be your friend. Add me as a friend, you know? So, yeah, start with becoming friends on a social thing. Don't straight out ask for their number uh, always because that can make them a little bit uncomfortable. A lot of times girls wanna see that they're judging you. They really are. When they meet a guy, they're gonna judge you. Everything that you do, they're gonna try and put you in one of two categories. You're either a crazy, person who is potentially dangerous in a not attractive way, but in a, this guy seems kind of creepy. Come here, I have candy, get in my van, kind of person. Or they're gonna put you in the friend zone as the, ah, uh, he's nice, he's cute, but he's not really looking for anything more than friendship, so he's safe. So they're gonna put you in the dangerous or safe category. If you get in the dangerous category, you're not getting a date, you're not getting her number, she's not comfortable with you, she's gonna give you a fake number. If you're in the safe category, you have a lot better chance of dating this person. Once you get to where you're messaging each other, whether you're text messaging, snap messaging, um, eye messaging, however you're talking to each other through a screen, you gotta make sure that your conversation sounds like you are interested in talking to them, unless you're genuinely not. This guy I used to text all the time. I knew he liked me, he told me he liked me, okay? But I would text him and I'd say, hey, what's up? And he'd say nothing. I'd be like, oh, okay, how was your day? Good. Why was it good? Eh, no reason. I was like, okay, obviously you're not interested in talking to me. Because if somebody I'm interested in talking to messages me, hey, what's up? I'm gonna tell them what's up. I'm gonna tell them what I'm doing. I'm gonna ask them what they're doing. I'm gonna say whatever they're doing sounds cool or whatever. And I'm gonna try and keep the conversation going. And if one person is trying to keep the conversation going and the other person isn't putting in that much effort, um, whether it's because they're shy or for whatever reason, then the person who's putting in the effort is gonna stop. They're gonna be like, well, I must be bothering you, so I'm gonna stop. And so you need to make sure that you are giving them more than one word back replies, unless you're not interested. If you're not interested, it's a great way to irritate people and get them to stop talking to you. Um, but if you're genuinely interested in this person and what they have to say, you're gonna keep the conversation going. On the other hand, there are those guys who will text you way too much, way too soon, and then they automatically go into the creepy guy in the white van. They, they go into that category, um, they make you a little bit uncomfortable because they will take things from either being 
overly flirty to where it's creepy. Like, oh, hey, beautiful. Has anybody t ever told you that that you, you're you attractive or I think I might like you? On a scale of one to 10, how much do you think you like me? They'll text you like this and then they'll stop. And then you'll get three hours later, you'll get like, oh, my phone died. I'm sorry. Oh, I was at a dance recital. I'm sorry. And genuinely what that means, generally, generally, what that means is that he's texting multiple girls at the same time and you just happen to have the least interesting conversation. So he dropped you so you could pay more attention to her. Well, she's busy now, so she's stopped talking. So now, oh, my phone died, but I'm back now. Oh, yep, you're beautiful. Yeah, do you wanna go out sometime? Can I, you know? And you gotta be afraid of guys who compliment you too much because, I don't know, it just generally means that they're interested in something that may not be your intentions and also it could just mean i mean if they're a really smooth talker it generally means they're a player or they've done this multiple times before so it's good to have your guard up you kind of gotta decide if he's safe if he's psychopath or if he's in this like there's psychopath and then there's jerks okay general jerks and i think this is the biggest bubble because you'll find most guys fit into the general jerk storage compartment okay now if you're that guy who is not super confident and so you try and play up being the sweet nice guy and they say all nice guys finish last why do nice guys get put in the friend zone well we'll tell you right now it's not because we're not attracted to you being sweet and you being nice to us it's that we we take that as you're being sweet you're being nice to us okay now we want you to tell us why if, if you're sweet and you're nice and then you're like, hey, I like you, or you you try and take them out on a date, you try and build up your relationship to something more, you show that you're interested in them as more than just a friend, and you try and initiate that. You put a little bit of confidence in that you're right on the perfect direction to forming a great relationship. But if you let it stall out, you're the, the sweet, nice guy, but you never try anything, you don't have any balls to try anything ever, um, and you just kind of stay there, then you're on the same level with our best girlfriend and our gay best friend. We love that you talk to us. We love that you're sweet. We always tell people, oh, he's so cute. He's such a sweetheart. I'm so glad that we're friends. But do they think of you anything more than a friend? Probably not, because they're not romantically interested in someone who they see on the same level as their brother. You're the brother. You gotta get yourself out of there, okay? You gotta have some guts. You gotta be willing. If she totally turns you down and you fall flat on your face and your relationship never gets to anything more than that, that really sucks. But if you spend the next five years of your life being on the same level as a brother and the gay best friend and you never escape that little friend zone, you're gonna torture yourself and rip your heart out so much worse than if you just took the jump and tried to get out of the friend zone, okay? Yeah, that's just the way that it is. But make sure that you are not going to jump out of the friend zone and land in the psychopathic zone or the jerk compartment because if you are being creepy, if you just all of a sudden become creepy and we feel like we can't tell you stuff, you don't wanna talk about feelings anymore, you just want to like all of a sudden you're like I want to make out with you or I'm leaving then the jerk compartment psychopath goodbye we're done that's just how it is but if you don't try and get out of that friend zone she's gonna leave you there because she's perfectly happy with you being her little pet her little best friend she's not going to move you out of the friend zone you either have to do that for yourself or you can stay there for the rest of her life and she'll call you about every interesting thing that happens in her life. She'll keep you Facebook friends and talk to you forever, but she's not going to ever want to date you. The end. Girls like it when you're a little bit, like you'll make off comments. You don't wanna be like perverted, okay? You don't wanna hit the pervert level, but we wanna feel like you're attracted to us. We wanna feel like you're a little bit risky. We wanna feel like you're the bad boy, but we don't wanna feel like you're going to shove us in your van and kidnap us. Like, we don't want you to be the psychopathic van guy, but we also want you to be like, hey, come here. It's okay, you know? 
Uh, it's really hard to explain what girls are expecting, but if you don't have the confidence to say, hey, I like you, I think you're attractive, um, I would really like to date you, then the girl is going to be like, eh, well, then we're friend zones if you don't want to date me. But if you're like, hey, I really want to make out with you, I really want, you know, to date you for two weeks, take you to prom, whatever, and then psh, I have a lot of girlfriends, so don't think about getting anything too committed now, then they're going to be like, eh, jerk or psychopathic person. Um, so that's, that's a hard part for guys is they kind of got to stay in this perfect balance of we want you to talk to us about feelings and we want you to be sweet and we want you to be nice, but we also want you to have like a darker side. We want you to be risky and daring and confident and initiate, initiate pushing our relationship into something more. But all at the same time, we don't want you to be too sweet to where you're like our brother and we don't want you to be too risky where we don't feel comfortable being alone with you. That, that That's the spectrum that is the most important thing to stay on with relationships. Um, how to get a girl to think that you're attractive? It's pretty easy. I mean, take care of yourself physically, try and, and exercise. Girls like guys who are sort of fit. I'm not saying you have to have a six pack, I'm just saying you don't want to be 300 pounds at the same time. There's got to be the happy medium. Take care of your skin. Try to do the best that you can. I know high school is hard. Acne sucks. Um, but there's a lot of guys who don't use any skin products because they feel like that's somehow gay or demasculatized, demasculine to use products. You can use products. If you use a full face of makeup, yeah, then we're going to be a little bit like, what, what, what are you doing? But if you are using a face wash, acne products, moisturizer, stuff like that, it's okay. We're not going to be like, you use moisturizer? We're going to be like, oh, you have nice skin and you take care of it. And we feel like that is good. Um, girls want your hair to be soft so we can rub our hands through your hair too. Keep your hair clean. Shower often. Shower, boys, shower. Be well groomed and girls will appreciate it. I promise you. And the next thing. If you want girls to think that you are so attractive, here's the secret. Girls instinctually love children. And we love puppies, kittens, animals, cute little baby things. So if you take these cute little baby things and you interact with them like you care mildly about this little tiny thing, if you're holding somebody's baby, playing with this baby, or if you're cuddling this kitten, or if you're just playing with this puppy, girls are gonna be like, oh my gosh, my ovaries, I can't even stand it. You're so cute, let me take a picture. Let me remember this forever. You're being cute with this puppy and I can't handle it right now. You're automatically gonna go from friend zone to you are immensely attractive because you like cute little baby things and just you being cute with this cute little thing is just too much. My mind is blown, I can't handle it. I think you're adorable. Every girl, I swear, every girl. Girls talk about this. This is what we talk about when we go to the bathroom all together. We're like, did you see that guy playing with that puppy the other day at the dog park? Yeah, somebody needs to go and get his number because we are all going to marry him. And then we're gonna have lots of puppies and it's gonna be beautiful. So if you want her to think you're attractive, be well-groomed, play with cute little baby things. I promise you, it's amazing what, I don't know why, but it just works. Be a gentleman, that is really important. If you go on a date with a girl, you open the car door for her, that is like a test right there. If you go on a date with somebody and you open your own car door, mental note, you might not be like, he didn't open my door, but there's a mental note. If he opened that door for you, you're just like, checking that off, this was a great date list, okay? Open the door, offer your coat, be a gentleman. Just be a gentleman, offer to pay for her stuff. It's not that she thinks that you should serve her, but the fact that you are helpful and that you genuinely care enough to get out of the car and open her side puts a good impression on her. It makes her feel like she's important and that you feel like she's important. So yeah, that's basically it. I know that this is a long video, but to try and explain any way that women think at all is kind of a hard subject to condense into 15 minutes, so I'm actually impressed it was as short as it is. If this helped you, like this video. If you're a girl and you think of something that I left off this list, please put it in the comments below. Use it as a forum to kind of help guys out because 
They need all the help they can get. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you wasting your time with me. Have a great day. Bye.